two things awe me most, the starry sky above me and the moral law within me. He who is cruel to animals becomes hard also in his dealings with men. We can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of animals. In law a man is guilty when he violates the rights of others. In ethics he is guilty if he only thinks of doing so. Morality is not the doctrine of how we may make ourselves happy, but how we may make ourselves worthy of happiness. Seek not the favor of the multitude, it is seldom got by honest and lawful means. But seek the testimony of few, and number not voices, but weigh them. A categorical imperative would be one which represented an action as objectively necessary in itself, without reference to any other purpose. Nothing is divine but what is agreeable to reason. Religion is the recognition of all our duties as divine commands. Religion is the recognition of all our duties as divine commands. The only objects of practical reason are therefore those of good and evil. For by the former is meant an object necessarily desired according to a principle of reason, by the latter one necessarily shunned, also according to a principle of reason. It is not God's will merely that we should be happy, but that we should make ourselves happy. From such crooked wood as that which man is made of, nothing straight can be fashioned. May you live your life as if the maxim of your actions were to become universal law. But although all our knowledge begins with experience, it does not follow that it arises from experience. Intuition and concepts constitute the elements of all our knowledge so that neither concepts without an intuition in some way corresponding to them nor intuition without concepts can yield knowledge all thought must directly or indirectly by way of certain characters relate ultimately to intuitions and therefore with us to sensibility, because in no other way can an object be given to us. All the interests of my reason, speculative as well as practical, combine in the three following questions. 1. What can I know? 2. What ought I to do? 3. What may I hope? Love is a matter of feeling not of will or volition, and I cannot love because I will to do so, still less because I ought, I cannot be necessitated to love, hence there is no such thing as a duty to love. Love is a matter of feeling, not of will or volition, and I cannot love because I will to do so still less because I ought, I cannot be necessitated to love, hence there is no such thing as a duty to love. By a lie, a man annihilates his dignity as a man.